Hey guys, here's another wonderful video. Um, I know I did one the other day when I was actually using this new muskox snowblower. And I figured it's not as white and snowy in, uh, in my uh, garage than it is outside. So I figured we'd go over a few things with the Toolcat and, uh, and the muskox snowblower. Um, it is one heck of a piece of equipment, that's for sure. Um, I have, obviously, we have other snowblowers that we have used, still do use, kind of here and there because of the size um, difference. But I'm going to go over a few things and kind of show you what I've learned so far with it. So I got it set right now at its it's about a 45 degree angle. It's right around the uh, uh, back drag mode right now. Um, I call it a 45 degree angle. It's not really 45. Um, this is the back drag mode. So what you can see on the front here is the rubber on the front is basically touching the ground. This is all rubber right here. And then you got yourself a plate here and then um, plate back here. So obviously this rubber rubber here is replaceable. Which is good because I, I seem to be putting so much down pressure because it's not necessarily dragging back as much you know when you when you think back drag you think clear everything you know get down to the get down to the the concrete well that's not necessarily the case i mean especially it's winter time you're not always going to get down to the concrete you're going to have some ice here and there and when you do the good thing is is the the shear mode now the shear mode um you can see my little rust spots down there but that whole plate right there is the cutting edge of the snowblower. Okay, so the way that it's angled, I'll try and give you a little bit of a, uh, see if you can kind of see that angle on the edge of the cutting blade right there. And what that does is once we hit the ground in the, in the uh, shear mode, which is tilted up just a little more than where it's at now. So this will tilt up just a, just a hair more. And then that that will dig into the ice and it shears it pretty much right down to concrete which is which is awesome all right i'm glad it works one thing i did run into right away is you know you always want to know where your end your blower is so they put these on and by all means you know all of them got them you know blades have them problem is is it's fiberglass you know you turn that chute over this way you're gonna kick out rocks you're gonna kick out pebbles uh, chunks of ice what's the first thing that happened yeah obviously these are replaceable but how often do you want to do that so what we're gonna do is put some rubber ones on here um, we'll go aftermarket obviously and uh, take the u-bolt out where it's in um, and then put some rubber ones on the outside and I'm actually gonna do it differently um, I'm going to move them down to closer to the edge for back dragging because having this angle right here is great to a degree because when it's on regular snow blowing mode, it, it uh, you know, it shows me where I'm at, but here having these where it's at, you know, this will hit like a, a garage door or something. And I'll say, okay, I'm pretty much close, but then I lose out on another four to six inches of of snow that I'm shoveling instead of back dragging. So I'm going to move those down a little farther so I can actually see how close my edge is to, um, to like a garage door or, you know, a building or whatnot. Um, the blower. So what I've found <clears throat> is, you know, you got your chain down here, which is, which is normal. You either got a gear or you got a chain that runs the chute. Um, the biggest problem we have at this point is you're going from a round chute to a square chute. Let me see if I can get up in there. And you can see those holes on the side since they're not covered, which, you know, they, they sh really shouldn't be because then it would just pack snow and ice in there. But all that comes out on top of the chain. So when that comes on top of the chain, it freezes up the chain if you don't move it to enough and it'll actually stop moving where I'll have to get out and clean chip ice off of it 
this one here this side here on this fiberglass piece um, I was actually going in between a, a house and a garage trying to kind of kind of cut in between the two because the garage was not connected to the house the house was over here garage was over here and I lifted it up because it's you know it's a 78 inch snowblower it's huge I lifted it up and and uh, it hit the roof of the house and snapped it right off so again fiberglass probably not the way to go the really cool feature I like about it though is knowing where you're at you know what mode you're in because if you're not exactly where you need to be at that angle you're you're not getting the full potential of the blower okay now muskox they they, they did a wonderful job building this thing you know i'm kind of thinking they're probably not engineers because it would probably be worse but um you know as far as like the angle of this is going to show you exactly where you need to be you know for the shearing the blowing and the back dragging um the plates that they put on the bottom this uhmw plates are actually super freaking cool because i've gone over grass i've gone over dirt i've gone over all this other stuff instead of blowing it right out and cutting through it um you know i just glide right over it there i have cut some grass up and don't get me wrong i've kicked some rocks out because i'm still learning how to use it as well but what i found is i end up putting too much down pressure on it to try and get it uh to get as much snow as possible because i feel like it's not down far enough so i put that down pressure on it and right here you got these plates on the side right here that uh like right here that are going to end up needing to get replaced um you know normally on snowblowers they have shoes on the side that'll stop you from you know putting it down too far where it'll slide across those shoes this doesn't have that kind of feature at all which i mean is good but then i put too much down pressure now i'm going to be replacing the uhmw too quick i'm going to be replacing the rubber too quick and i'm going to end up having to replace those sides too quick that's the biggest problem i have with it especially when you're just learning how to use it now as far as toolcat goes i cannot tell you how awesome this machine is um it's got you know the perfect amount of weight to it um you know holds up to 2000 pounds in the back here we're loaded down with ice melt for the season cuz we did get a uh a rock salt spreader so I'm going to start this up real quick. It's going to get a little loud for a second, and I'll shut it off. So I'm going to show you the different modes of this snowblower. Cool thing is it's all push start. They got a uh, they got my phone charger in here. Let me turn my air off. Hang on a second. It's got a, a USB plug-ins right there for charging. Man, is it awesome. It's nice having the dual seats. You know, all that stuff to have. Well, it's usually just me in here, so it ends up taking my trash and all that stuff. But so I'll push to start. This right here is your safety. So I leave that down when I'm outside of the vehicle. Obviously, you have to have it when you're inside, too. So I'm going to move this into shearing mode. You kind of see. can see on the shearing mode why it shears it's why it has that angle here on this blade this way when this is on the ground it's cutting you know it'll hit the ground and it'll start cutting that ice chipping that ice up which is really awesome I've actually used that quite a bit so let's put it into blow blowing mode this off so it's not so loud 
that and I am inside the garage so it smells really good <laughs> so here it is in blowing mode now you can see <clears throat> you can go a little higher a little lower you can see the UHMW pad there on the bottom how it's not 100% on the floor there because because of the angle that I have it at that obviously is in no way muskox's issue that's mine because like I said I'm still learning then you got these plates here you can see how I've been scraping on the ground putting that down pressure on it and this rubber I mean you can kind of see right here where it's not even flat anymore because of how how much I've been using that down pressure so you can see I mean this is like two days maybe three of use uh, just learning how to use it <clears throat> I think you guys I think I've showed you these the dual augers in here it just chews stuff up obviously these sides move um but these yeah these this uhmw on the side here is going to end up having to get replaced probably before next season which kind of sucks that it's so quick but that's not their fault that's mine for learning how to use it so i think the biggest things that, <coughs> excuse me the biggest things i would change about this is i mean it's a snowblower it's extremely slow so if you have to do um to do you know a large um long driveways like super long driveways stuff like that more than likely you're going to want a box pusher at that point um however if you use blades and you uh use boxes and you start building up that pile that's when you're going to come get your snowblower and start getting it out of the way um the biggest thing I think I would change is covering that chain because it is a pain in the butt to get all that snow, have to get out, chip it out. Um, you know, one thing I've noticed is, is also if I have the, the, the top here, if I have it down because I'm in a residential area, um, if I have it down too far or all the way, I can't shoot snow into other other people's yards right um so what it, what ends up happening is the chute gets so full of snow that it quits blowing so i gotta get out and i gotta i gotta you know kind of hammer in there and get the uh, the packed snow and ice out so the farther you can leave that open the better it will be trust you me uh, problem is is when you're doing the residentials you don't really have much of a choice um would i buy another one absolutely absolutely would i do it again absolutely um this machine is is amazing um you know i would change a few things which we're going to end up doing regardless um you know if i have to i think what i'm going to do is weld on probably weld some stuff on around the bottom here um to to have like a uh, a lip you know kind of kind of just come out a little bit up over the chain so all this snow that comes out underneath here you know because when you turn it it's not sitting over this it's sitting over the chain so i'll have something weld something up or something around all the way around this way the snow stays away from the chain and just comes out i mean we're probably not going to get away with with uh not having any you know with with not you, you're not going to go away with not having any snow up here i mean it just happens there's nothing you can do but the the longer i can protect that chain the less of a problem i'm going to have you know getting it to move so i'm not sitting there for five minutes moving it back and forth and back and forth trying to chip that ice and then having to get out with like a hammer or something and chip it um other than that great machine highly recommend it um this mod 2378 this was brand new this year i believe um and again these guys are doing a great job of what they're doing um you know with anything else we can always um do better uh, you know other than the the small thing i just i just don't see how you could do much better um with the the 
types of material that we have these days you know the rubber the the uhmw the stuff like that that's the best stuff you're you're going to want to use you know you're not going to want to use metal and destroy people's driveways and stuff so they're doing it right and they're doing a great job so i highly recommend it um and that's about it you know if you guys have any questions about the the tool cat or the blower you know let me know i can try to go farther into detail um I don't know how much more detail I can get, but, but let me know if you have any questions. Y'all have a good day.